All right, welcome back to Photoshop. So today we're gonna to take a look at this image and this image and blend them together using Flow. Now, Photoshop is built in with all kinds of different blending modes, but sometimes blending modes just aren't helpful. And my favorite way to blend is by using a brush, a mask, and Flow. Hold on, I'm gonna show you how to blend these two images together by only using Flow. The first thing that we need to do here is I'm going to create a new layer up here and I'm gonna hit Shift Delete and we're gonna fill that with white. We're gonna get our brush. I'm gonna hit D to go to default colors. I'm gonna take my brush all the way up and I'm going to show you what Flow does. So if you are using a brush and you have 100% and 100% and you make a line, that is gonna be 100% black. If you lower your opacity to 10% and make a line and you go over it and over it and over it, it's only gonna give you 10%. However, if you lift up with your mouse and go over it again, now it's gonna be 20%. And that is opacity. Flow is a little bit different, so we're going to try to get to 10. So the way flow works is each time you go over it, it builds itself up darker and darker and darker and darker. And what this lets you do is really sort of blend stuff together. So I come down here and go over a few times and then here and here and here. Now, obviously when you're doing this, you wanna use a pretty large brush and you're gonna say, and you can easily blend items together. You can almost have something similar to a gradient because flow lets you slowly build up over time. Now you'll notice when I'm using flow, a lot of the times I'm really light on this. And as you can see, I'm just painting over it and over it and over it and trying to get darker here in the center and lighter as we go out. So flow lets you build up over time. So let's go ahead and delete this layer. And what we need to do is stack both of these images together. And this is pretty easy. We're just gonna simply take our move tool and I'm gonna drag this image over to here. We're gonna hold the shift to center it and let go and bam, just like that, we have the two images together. The next thing that we need to do is, I'm gonna actually unlock this. So I'm just gonna go ahead and click that. And then I am going to select both layers with the shift key, or you could also use the command or control keys. Now, I did not use a tripod when I was shooting this because I was on a hill and it was just kind of a pain in the neck. I knew I could get what I wanted done without doing it. Now, the problem is, as I turn these on and off, you can see these don't perfectly line up, but that's okay, because we are gonna let Photoshop blend them together. So if we come up here to edit and we drop down to auto align layers, it's automatically gonna line those layers up with this. Now, there is gonna be some overlap. So you can see here and down here where the images don't line up perfectly. That is not a huge deal. We, we can simply come down here and crop up into this image and I'm gonna crop a little up here and then we're gonna slide a little bit over here kind of know where this image needs to be. And that's good for right now. We can always come back in here and fix this. So we've got a little edge right here. It's not a big deal. I will deal with that later. Now, as you remember, we want to blend these two images together. Now I'm gonna be doing this in black and white. This image is not gonna be in color. This blue and the green, there's just too much color for me. So we are going to go ahead and simplify this. So what I'm gonna do is just bring this up real quick and make a black and white adjustment layer. I'm not gonna adjust it or do anything at this moment because truthfully, I don't need to. So we're gonna come back to this layer and this is our subject layer right here. And what I'm gonna do is make a mask. And in case you wanna save time, you can always hold Alt Option and click on your mask. That's automatically gonna give you a black mask and allow it to blend into the background better. Now you can see here, there is some overlap from that image and don't worry too much about that at this moment. If it bugs you, you can crop it out, but it doesn't bother me right now, so I'm cool with it. So the next thing we wanna do is grab our brush. And to show something, we need the color white. And then we are gonna come up here and I'm gonna boost my flow up kind of high, because what I wanna do is find my subject first. Now I know my subject is around here somewhere, and there is her face. And that's what we're looking for right there, her face. And now we can start blending from this area. So what you're gonna see me do, 
is I'm going to lower my flow down to about 4%. Now, my left hand is living on the letter X. The letter X is gonna allow me to flip between black and white. So as I'm painting in, I'm using white. As I'm painting out, I'm using black. I don't need to look down. All I need to do is tap with my finger and I can flip flop back and forth. Occasionally, what you're gonna see is me paint something in. It's too much, I'll hit X and I will paint it out. So we're gonna continue to go through here and kind of paint stuff in and out, we're just gonna have her appear a little bit, not a whole lot. Now, there's gonna be certain times when you're gonna see me just kind of bump this up, because I don't wanna paint over it a million times, I just kinda wanna get it where I want, so we're gonna paint some white, I'm gonna get that arm in there, so I can kind of see where that arm is, and now I'm gonna dial that back, and I'm gonna slowly paint this in and out, either using black or white, so I can come here. A lot of times, you're gonna see my brush is pretty large, but I'm just brushing my edge of my brush on the top part of this. So what I'm trying to do here is I'm just trying to fade out this top edge and this bottom edge of this arm. So I'm not painting directly over the center, I'm just kind of over the edge and we're trying to blend this in and out. So right now I've got black. And hey, if you're brushing over something and it's taking too long, feel free to always increase your flow when you're doing something like this. I want the other arm, so I'm gonna hit white, and that looks like it goes down that way a little bit. We're gonna get a little bit of the body here. It looks pretty good. We're gonna eventually want more of this. So we're gonna paint that in, lower that flow. Now, when I really wanna get accurate, what you'll see me do is drop this flow down to 1%, but for right now, we're pretty good. I'm gonna make this brush a little bit smaller. We're gonna go ahead and paint this area in a little bit. And I'm gonna hit X, I'm gonna put the top part of this hand out. Just want thumb a little bit, hit X up in here. I want to put that out a little bit. I want this, I'm gonna make my brush larger and we're gonna come in here and paint this in. Make my brush smaller. And there's a lot of constant changing when you're doing this. So there's certain areas right in here where I want this really in focus, this eye to those lips. That I really want in focus and I want to see that a lot. So I'm gonna flip back to the brush, I'm gonna make this too big, and then I'm painting black and I'm painting out on that side. I wanna paint out this side. I'm gonna hit X again. Basically, I want some of that hair right here. I'm gonna paint and try to bring some of that hair in just on this side. Let's paint that out a little bit. So we're gonna X, paint it out. I wanna get remove that. I'm gonna make my brush really large. Now I did paint in some of the body, but I don't want it right here. I don't want that much of the thumb. And basically what you're gonna do is just kind of go in here and paint stuff in and out, in and out until you get exactly what you want. I'm gonna make this brush smaller and we're gonna come in here. We're gonna pull that, that stick out of her face. So we're really focused on this area right in here. I'm gonna hit X again. I want this edge of the hair to be softer. I'm gonna really lower that flow down to 1%. Can really control that blending process. Hit X again, I'm gonna to try to get a little bit more of that arm. Looks pretty good. It's a little bit too bright here, so I'm gonna take X, paint that out a little bit. That looks pretty good. Paint those fingers out a little and a little more on this Thumb. You'll see that when you get down to 1% flow, it can really take a while to totally eliminate something. So make sure that you are controlling it to get the desired effect that you're looking for. So we're gonna paint that in a little bit right there. That's a little bit too much. I'm gonna hit X, paint that out. We're gonna lower this flow down to one. And that looks pretty good. I think I'm gonna paint this back in a little bit more right there. All right, that looks pretty good. I'm not as worried about that ear, so I'm gonna blend that ear back. Right that right there. All right, so that's looking pretty good. I can come back in here all the time and fix this image. And now, since I've kind of painted this in, now one area I think I'm gonna keep is actually this area up here. So what I'm gonna do, so I'm gonna, I wanna keep this area, and this is the area from her picture. I wanna extend this, I don't wanna crop that out. 
So I think I'm just going to come up here and I'm going to take a solid black and we'll move this up to 100%. And we're just going to kind of paint this in here. So I'm going to flip this color to white. We're just going to paint that border back in. So that's just going to allow me, and these are perfectly lining up. So this should match without any problems. Doesn't matter if one's from one image or one's from another because they just blend right together. Now we do have this little area and then we can go ahead and crop from there. So I can hit this crop button. What I'm going to do is hold alt option. I'm just going to bump that in a little bit, take off this edge a bit. I think that crop looks pretty good. All right. And I'm cool with that. And that's how you blend an image by using flow inside Photoshop. If you have any comments or questions, you can leave those below. And as always, don't forget to subscribe.